guys. It's a piping hot morning. Plus 50 degrees. Uh, the sun is out. <laughs> and I'm not gonna take a swim. But this is the famous oceans of Sweden. Yeah. At the beach. One of my favorite places in the whole wide world. Not today when it's so cold, but it's beautiful anyway. Look at all this. So nice. Super cold and super super windy. And I am standing behind the camera holding this to the microphone, but I don't think we need it. No. It's a bit windy, guys. Yeah. So, hello and welcome to Sweden. And why are we in Sweden? Because our days in Vietnam was uh, coming to an end. Yeah. The visa was expired and we have to, we have to move to another country. So we decided to go home and uh, we're gonna pack our bags we're gonna go away again of course uh, we're gonna go for a one of our longer hikes ever done so we are planning for a 30 to 45 days hiking trip where we're gonna go we're gonna have a big announcement video on that later but uh, for now just guess it's gonna be in Europe uh, but much more south than this because up here it's too cold yeah, yeah. but you you can see the, the the sun in my face it looks warm can I assure you it's not no. not when you come from Vietnam no but we were lucky because we left Hanoi with seven degrees yeah that was really cold as well yeah so now down to two here in Sweden so yeah. very very nice now we're going to walk to Another one of my favorite places, we're going to walk to Siberia. So, see you on the road to Siberia. In a forest by the ocean oh, on our way to Siberia yeah. beautiful we really, really enjoy this forest yeah look at these pine trees they look like this because they are so close to the sea they're bending it's windy who makes them bend like this way over there. Is my hair okay? Ah, <laughs> oh, you're beautiful. Yeah. But look at this. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful that I didn't got the snow when we came back home. Next no. We're gonna have some snow, we think. So. Yeah, because they said it had been so much snow for um, four or five days ago. But now it's gone. Yeah. And we, we are in the south of Sweden. Dan's hometown. Yeah. We're not from the same town. So we've been here meeting up friends, meeting family. So it's gonna be some strange vlogs. We don't know what we're talking about. And then we'll come back in, in two days or three days and make the same video again. I don't even know if our move day video is finished yet, but this is the, the Siberia UFO hunt video. So now we're just out walking in my old forests back home. So I really enjoy it. We, go, we go up, we go down. This is good exercise. And when you have uh, almost uh, taken a plane for 24 hours, it's so nice to be up and walking again. We had a, had a beautiful day with the family yesterday. Here, so. Sitting on stools, yeah. sitting first on plane, then train, then stools. So my butt yeah. likes to walk here. Yeah, I mean, it's so nice to just walk around here in the forest. And now, now it's super nice. It's not so wet, and it, it, it's a little bit chilly. But it's, it's better down here in the woods uh, than the ocean because the ocean was it was cold, but it was windy. <laughs> 
It's so beautiful, look at the sun. Yeah. And down here it's incredible. Here it went. Huh. Maybe it's on there, we're just trying out. And the other way. Can we have it on that way? On this way. So we have sun. Ah, maybe. Ooh. Mm. Uh, but then we're just pitch black. Uh, we don't know. No. Huh? How much have you been filming? Mm -hmm. No. And here it's all the wet. So we have to go back. And then... Ah, back. The camera died. And we only got one battery left, so... We don't make big juice of it but this is incredible to walk here and I said this was dry and I was talking mumble jumble because on a few different places here it's soaking wet and flooded we have a, out there you can ride the bicycles and it's so nice I, I, I think we can go for thumbnail everywhere here it, it, yeah? yeah, it's crazy nice. This green yeah, moss. yeah, yeah. And the light behind there. But incredible for us this. And we were super lucky with the with the blue skies today as well. It's not every day you get lucky with blessed with sunshine and 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 blue heaven so maybe it's just for us because i'm back home so but we're gonna be here a few days then we're gonna go to our hometown and pack up our bags uh, buy some new clothes we need a few things so but now we keep on walking here And it is wet. Uh, here is all the snow. <laughs> Why? I hate this. And I have new shoes. Look at this. Southeast Asia. I'm coming back to you. <laughs> <laughs> Siberia. Yeah. <laughs> here we are. Sibirien, Engelholm, Sweden. So this is, is uh, another part of the beach. Yeah, it's a long, long, long beach. So it's super nice in the summertime here. And it's nice now as well, but not so many sunburned people. No bathing. No bathing. No, the sand dunes. Upptäck livet i stranden. Discover the life in the sand. And I think it looks so warm. It's gonna be so fun to see this on the video later. Yeah. Yeah. And I look at you now, and you doesn't look warm. <laughs> And there is no baiting your horse. No baiting dog or horse oh. on the summer on the summer time. Yeah. Five, five months. No bathing the horse. And up there you, you can scoop scoop your horse shit and put in a bin. <laughs> Perfect. And look at all this foam. Sea foam. And if it's too windy now guys, I'm sorry about that. Look at this. 
It's wobbling in the wind. Yeah. Guys, so we can wait here and hold the camera. I don't, I don't want that. Not too much uh, big waves, it's just perfect for a nice. Yeah, a little bit cold. You're so whiny. <laughs> and now we're going to visit something very, very strange here. So stay with us. I think I have a picture of you and me then sitting right here in this sand dunes. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. Go to I think I have it. Go to show you now. Oh my god, it's a UFO, guys. Look what we found. And that's the replica of the UFO. The actual UFO was this big. But here we have a sign. Oh. It says, buy a UFO. Turbine beam. <laughs> Turbine beam. Um, Created Furia. Yeah. 18 May 1946. Someone says a UFO landed right here. Right in this spot. Uh, and learn this guy everything about to pollinate flowers or something like that to make medicine. Uh, he was the most famous man of uh, Engelholm. Uh, yeah. So, do you believe it? I do not. I'm not a UFO guy believer, but... It's a funny story though. It's a super nice story. Maybe thumbnail, I think. There it is. You wanna be in? UFO! Oh. And in all of the world, in Sweden we have proof of UFOs. Do you have that? Yeah. <laughs> You told us about leprechauns and uh, trolls and fairies and everything, but no one says UFOs. So here we got a Swedish UFO. And it's hilarious and it's beautiful. It's a fun place to be here and as a child you always go here and play around and things like that. So, And here's a, a lot of path you can walk. Uh, we, we got the Lea Jöka Rundan. So you can uh, walk the Lea Jöka all down here, <laughs> and it's uh, super nice. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, um... So th this is a path, and this is a classic uh, Lea Jök. So if you blow there, it comes out with a sound. Mm. And, <laughs> and it doesn't sound like that, <laughs> not, not a cow. <laughs> uh, no. <coughs> yeah. So, this was the UFO. But look at the forest here. It's a super nice path to walk around this. So, and now we are walked for I said, eight kilometers maybe. So you walk beside the ocean the whole way. And if it's a hotter weather you, you, you walk by on, on the beach. But today it was too cold and windy. So it's nice to walk up in the, in the woods. And it's funny, we have a move day yesterday, and today we have an explore in Engelholm. <coughs> yeah, first impression. First impression. <laughs> but it, it's not fair to have a first impression if you lived here like when I moved. I moved from here when I was 
1820 something like that I can't remember a long long time ago but it's nice to be back it's always nice to come back and tonight we're gonna go for uh, ice hockey so stay tuned to that video maybe it's coming up tomorrow or it's already been out I never know what time we put out the videos but now we're gonna walk on here and here they shovel all the wood down. Why have they done that? It's just because of you, Anna. You hate the woods. Here we have someone Nordic walking. Yeah, Nordic pole walking. So, shall we greet him with a sing shadow? Hi, hi. Hello. There's nothing now. It was just forest like the last time I was here, 10 years ago maybe. Huh? Let's put you down, guys. This is a classic Swedish house. Yeah, the whole neighborhood. The whole neighborhood here, yeah. 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 It looks like it's uh, everywhere in Sweden. So it's not a particular point that it's, oh wow, look at this. So, this is the same as in every other town here in Sweden. Particularly that yellow color. Yeah. Then you know it's a bit older Swedish house. So this house is all the, from the era when we are growing up. So. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful neighborhood. But here, here's all the peace and quiet. Like I, I, we fought uh, the last few weeks, and it's 10 million people in Hanoi, <laughs> and it's 10 million people in all of Sweden, so there is no people here. <clears throat> and no traffic, no honking horns. Yeah. I'm just driving in the car here, he didn't honk the horn. <laughs> and we can walk on the sidewalk. Yeah, no and scooters. No, and no scooters honking me. No, and they don't sell anything here. No fruits, no, uh, no pig toes, no nothing. We have to no pig the, ears. We have to go to the store to get the pig toes. And they don't have it in the stores here either. No, we don't. But just to show you the classic Swedish houses. You walk on this side. Bicycling on that side. That's the law in Sweden. Yeah. Hmm? No soy sauce on the bicycles here. <laughs> Just regular bicycles. And Engenholm is a bicycle city, so this is why it looks like this. Yeah. There's a, a huge percent of the people living here is riding the bike. So that's why. It's a, it's it's not like this in every no. Sweden. And that's because it's so flat. You have no hills here. No. This is southern Sweden is just flat. Yes. It's gonna change when we go up, up north in Sweden. Yeah. Okay. Maybe you can see any difference. Classic Sweden. Here you have the pizzeria, the hair cutter, and the tattoo studio. And if you can find all that in one building, you know you're in Sweden. <laughs> That's the only thing we need. Ingenholm, downtown. Tulips. Yeah, the tulip season is soon here. Uh, and it's beginning quite early in uh, southern Sweden. And that, that's a sign of spring. 
but you see the January is I don't know how the, the, the spring is far away. Yeah, I think so too. Huh? Two months or so left, or three if we like. And then we're not going to be here anymore. No. And here is all the people who can wonder where they were. They were downtown. Yeah, but now it's 11.30, so maybe they just woke up. Yeah. We've been out walking since 8.30. Round two, we're back. Yeah. We're soon we hit the hotel again. So now we're gonna take a shower, drink some coffee, and then the next video is ice hockey. So, thank you for sticking around for this odd video. Like Dan said earlier, we didn't, we don't know really what to to feel when we are here. Back no, home. and we just needed to walk because we have sit still so much with the you know, normal airplanes and the trains and the cars and everything. So we just walked, and the UFO is a fun place to walk, and it's a beautiful place. So, but thank you for coming along on this video. Please sum up, subscribe, tell all your friends. We are in Sweden. We are back home. See you in the next one. Bye bye. Bye bye.